Hi everyone, it's Miss Carla here and I'm here at the Palos Heights Public Library. Today we're going to do another fun STEM activity. Just a reminder that STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So today we're going to make earthquake resistant structures. We're going to learn a little bit about how engineers make buildings a little bit safer in case of an earthquake. I know we don't really get earthquakes too much in Illinois, but I still thought it would be fun to learn about. So just to, like some basic information about earthquakes. Um, they started designing port um, buildings to be safer in places like California and Japan. Engineers want to make sure that even though an earthquake probably is going to cause damage, it'll be the less amount of damage. There's no such thing as an earthquake-proof building, but engineers can figure out ways to reduce the damage and keep people safe. So one way is to use um, trusses and cross bracing, which we're going to learn more about in a second. So. I'm going to show you what you're going to need. So you can do this a few different ways. Um, so first, but you are going to need, they recommend a shoe box. I don't have a shoe box, but I do have this container. And you're going to want balls about the same size, marbles, it could be whatever, not too big. These are some styrofoam ones. Uh, you're going to want a piece of cardboard that lays almost flat on top. And this is what where your testing is going to be. So we're, for now, we're going to set that aside. You can use toothpicks or pasta. I'm going to do both because I think it'd be fun to see how the different height makes a difference. And you're going to need some marshmallows. You may also want a pen and paper just to design your ideas. You may also want scissors. And you may also want some tape, which I do have nearby. So we're going to do a quick test, though, first. And I want you to make a prediction. If I make a square shaped structure, do you think that's stronger than using making a triangle shape structure? We're going to do a mini test first. And go ahead and if you want to pause the video, if you want to make your predictions, if you want to um, if you want to make your little design, this is just going to be a very small one to start. So all I'm doing is poking the toothpicks into the marshmallows just like that so i'm going to make a very small one and then we're going to test it so it's a pretty simple concept as far as structure you're just going to stick the toothpicks into the marshmallows and it's already kind of falling so if that tells you, if your guesses were right, let me know. Okay. So, there's my first structure. I'm going to put it in my little tester and I'm going to shake it. I'm going to shake it soft slowly and then I'm going to go more fast. You can see it's starting to bit tilt. It hasn't broken yet. Now I'm going to reassemble it and I'm going to make a triangle shape. Remember I asked earlier do you th which one you think would be a stronger option. And right off the bat, you might be able to tell that it's looking stronger. And that is for a reason. If I can finish this off here. So, we'll talk about that in just a second. I'm going to put this back in my tester. I'm going to start to shake. So, important things to notice. If you remember the square shape, that was wobbling all over the place. It looked like it was, it didn't fall over, but it looked like it was going to. This triangle shape is hardly moving. So there's actually a reason for that. Um, engineers make the building stronger using triangular shapes. So if you guess triangular shapes, you are correct. The, and the official terms again are trusses and cross bracing. 
So now what we're going to do, I'm actually going to pause the video. I'm going to make a taller structure using triangle shapes. I'm going to use toothpicks and pasta, and then we're going to do a test at the end. So you can use this time. You can pause the video as well to make some of your own designs. Like I said, if you want to use pencil and paper to draw it out first, please feel free, but I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so it took me longer than I expected. So this project might take you a while and that's okay. It's a lot of fun, honestly. It just took me a while to figure out what I was doing. So I have made a few different structures here and I don't know how well you can see. Um, this is angel hair pasta. This is the tallest one right here. I'm being very careful with it. Now, I will say it did break easily. So I don't know if you wanna try like spaghetti or something thicker, but it was nice when I needed to break it into smaller pieces. I would just, it broke easily. The toothpicks were tricky to work with sometimes because they're so short. So I made, a, what I did is I did a few different designs. Um, this one I tried to make more secure with like double beams. I don't know how well you can see that. So now we're just gonna go ahead and test them. And as I said before, you can actually keep doing this as many times as you would like, which is the fun thing. Um, it does get a little sticky with the marshmallow, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna put the three smaller ones in first. And right off the bat, I am gonna make guesses that this one's probably gonna do the best with the double beams. I don't think this one looks too sturdy. I got a little messed up there. And this one also looks a little bit wobbly. So we're gonna start with a short little shake. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's I'm gonna shake a little bit harder. I'm gonna shake really hard, let's see what happens. So, kind of what I thought, this one actually turned over. This one looks like it could go at any second, and this one actually stayed the best. So, that was pretty fun. Now I'm going to test my pasta one, and this one I have to be very careful because, like I said, it's, ooh, it already doesn't like me. This pasta is very thin. So for this one, I made um, a cross beam. I don't know how well you can see that. You can see the X there. So that's the cross beam I made. So I'm gonna test this one out and see. Start with like a little shaky. I'm gonna shake a little harder. I'm gonna shake really hard. And there it goes. So it actually did last longer than I thought, which has to do with the beams, I think, and the using the use of triangles at the top, as we talked about earlier, um, with how engineers use triangles to make sturdy buildings. But anyway, this could this program could be a lot of fun. I hope you get a chance to try it, and let me know if you do what your designs look like. If you take some pictures, I'd love to see them. If you want to post them on Facebook, but otherwise, I'll see you next time in our next STEM challenge. Bye.